and on the governor's races, um, I would say this. Um, the DGA, the Democratic Governor Association, is playing defense everywhere. They are not playing offense in any Republican states except for Arizona. Every other Republican incumbent is outside the margin of error and above 50 well, percent. Republicans are playing offense. Well, Governor, Massachusetts offense. and Maryland off your hands. Let's start there, okay? <laughs> <laughs> having, you having, stolen from, hey, having stolen hey. it from you eight years ago and kept it for eight years, we're very, very happy Chris, about that. Look, Chris, Ohio is also in play. Thanks for what? Tim no, Ryan no has chance. done a phenomenal job in closing that race in no Ohio. Tim, the Tim Ryan had a big debate. hundred bucks on that one with you. Well, babe, I ain't getting no my money this week. <laughs> this is race is going to come down for the Senate to three states, in my view. Nevada, Georgia, and Pennsylvania. And whoever wins two out of three in those is going to be in a position to be able to, to have the Senate. And I don't think... The rest of the races, I think, while you're right, that they're in margin of error, I think, on the ground. I've been in a bunch of these states. You kind of get a feeling as to which way it's going. The House, I think, is a foregone conclusion. But the margin is going is to be what Right, but, but George, that goes back to redistricting, right? I mean, yeah. there have been so, there are so fewer seats that are really, truly competitive. I think if you look at this country, there's 40 to 50 seats in the House left now that are competitive and so if republicans win 20 to 25 of those which is, i think where they'll be they'll have a 15 seat margin in this in the house and in the house that's plenty as you know tim no, ron no has chance. done a phenomenal job and closing that race